When I established the Nairobi Rivers Commission, um, the intention was to see how we can clear the you know, garbage and clean the Nairobi River in a very sustainable way. I know several attempts have been made before. Michuki tried and did a good job, but we dropped the ball after Michuki. So this time around, we want to do Nairobi River Commission in a different way. We want to clean the Nairobi River in a different way, in, a, in, a, in what other cities around the world have done. We need the buy-in of um, the leadership of Nairobi for us to implement that program appropriately so that all of us can uh, contribute ideas on how we can do this, uh, how we can do this better in a, in a way that resonates with the residents of this city. The most important aspect of this is actually the sewer. We need to contain the sewer that currently is going to the Nairobi River and is going to be a trunk of 54 kilometers of sewer that we are going to con con construct to make sure that all the sewer that is now going into the river, we put it in the sewer line and deliver it in the right place. And then, of course, we are going to do other infrastructure. We are going to widen the river uh, to between 30 and 40, 30, 20 and 30 meters in different parts. We're going to uh, uh, put infrastructure around it, uh, um, non-motorable transport uh, infrastructure around it, and also do some linear markets you know, along that so that we can, we can make it better. We have a challenge of classrooms in the city of Nairobi. I've discussed with many members of parliament, and they have brought this to my attention. And um, it is important for us to partner with the leadership of the city of Nairobi, especially members of parliament, on matters education. I committed that we are going to work with the members of parliament to build at least 5,000 new classrooms. That's my target over time. We have uh, made the first 500, 500 million shillings available to the, through the uh, NGCDF to start that process. Um, I would want uh, us to uh, work together to see how we can actualize more classrooms for the children of the city of Nairobi. They are very important to all of us, including to the citizens and residents of the city of Nairobi. Issues concerning the city of Nairobi are important, not just to the people of the city of Nairobi, but also to the government of Kenya, because this is the face of Kenya. Many people who visit Kenya, the first port of call is the city of Nairobi. And therefore, it is important for us to project the image of the country positively. And that starts with the image of the city of Nairobi. I have had a conversation with the county government of Nairobi. We've had uh, one previous meeting before. We are yet to have another follow-up meeting to synchronize what the national government and the county government are doing in matters, infrastructure, and all other related uh, social services for the city of Nairobi.